This short video is from a comprehensive course on Udemy. In this video, we'll take a look at the Explore GPTs section of ChatGPT. GPTs, otherwise known as Generative Pre-Trained Transformers, have essentially replaced all of the plugin options previously available on this platform. This innovative new feature enhances the user experience by allowing the creation of custom GPT versions tailored to individual needs. If you have a ChatGPT Plus or Enterprise account, you can dive into the Explore GPT section where you can select and or customize GPT models based on your specific tasks or desired knowledge bases. GPTs are available in many different categories and there is a lot of variation within those categories. Some are made by OpenAI, but many are created by independent developers. Speaking of that, you can be one of those independent developers and create your own GPT. Through a user-friendly process, you can give your GPT builder detailed instructions, infuse it with knowledge, and equip it with a certain skill set. This customization doesn't just stop at setup. You can interact, refine, and perfect your creation through conversation with the GPT builder. Once development is done, your personalized GPT is ready to save and use. So this feature really does open up a unique new way for users to explore the diverse capabilities of GPT models and find the perfect fit for their specific requirements. Overall, the main highlights of the Explore GPT section, which we're about to look at, would be accessibility, customization, GPT mentions, ease of use, and a wide variety of individual GPT options. Okay, so now let's hop into a demo and take a quick look at each of these GPT highlights and get a good taste of what this chat GPT feature can offer. So up first is accessibility. And you'll see here that I'm in one of my chat GPT accounts, but this particular account does not have access to chat GPT four. I still need to upgrade. So because of that, I do not have access to the Explore GPT section. So if you want to make use of this feature, you're going to need to upgrade to ChatGPT+. But once you've gone ahead and upgraded your account and you have access to ChatGPT4, you can see here that whether I'm in 3.5 mode or GPT4 mode, I still have access to the Explore GPTs area. And it's very easily accessible. You can see here from the main screen, you just head over to the sidebar, click this, and voila, here we are in the GPT section. So up next, since we're here, I'll hop around a bit between those highlights. You can see that we have a wide variety of GPTs available. I can search for them here in this chat bar. Chat GPT has them broken down into categories here. I've got Dolly 3 related, writing, productivity, and then I can scroll through each of these and you can see under each topic, we have options. And then I can hit this for even more options. And each GPT has a little description under it, what it does and who developed it. And so I'll combine highlight number three and four together. That was GPT mentions and ease of use. So I'm thinking I want a lifestyle GPT. So I'll click this, uh, here we go. Gym Streak Workout Creator. So I'll click on that, start a chat, and then I already have an idea in my head here. And so I've got my prompt here. Please help me develop a weekly workout routine for my lower abs. So it's ready to go. And you can see up here that we are in Chat GPT Plus, but this is the specific Gym Streak Workout Creator GPT. And so the purpose of this GPT is to help me with all things gym related, fitness related. That's what it specializes in. That's what its knowledge base is built on. And you can see down here, it gives different suggestions based on its knowledge of fitness and working out. So now I'll head on down here and see what it does. All right, so I've got my response here. And as I look over this, I've got tips for success. I've got that lower ab workout routine broken down into different days and then what I'm doing for each day. So this is great. This is the basic functionality of normal chat GPT, but this is a customized GPT for working out. And you can see up here, I have a list of options related to this particular GPT. 
And overall, I've got a great response here. And the more in-depth I go with that prompt, the more I dive into this, the more I can plan out the specific fitness goals that I have and really see what this particular GPT can do. And so back here on the main GPT page, you can see over here that the Gym Streak Workout GPT is ready to go. I can still access that quickly. Up here, I wanna to touch on this briefly. This is the global view option. And this is basically designed to provide users with an overview of any ongoing conversation that you're having. So when you click this button, it expands the conversation history and that allows us to see more of the past exchanges that we've had with the particular GPT that we've been interacting with. So it's good to know that this is here for those more in-depth conversations that you might have. So tying in easily with these GPT highlights under ease of use is the GPT mentions option. So if you're on the main screen for ChatGPT Plus and you haven't hopped over to the Explore GPT section, you can still easily access the GPTs that you've enabled with GPT mentions. Here's an example. So depending on the type of chat I wanna hop into here on the platform, I can come down here to the chat bar, enter in the at symbol, and now I can initiate a conversation with any of the GPTs that I've recently initiated and used. So you can see up here, I've used StickerWiz recently, Cosmic Dream, and there's the Gym Streak Workout Creator. And when I choose the one I wanna to talk to, let's go with StickerWiz, I'm now talking to StickerWiz. And so any prompt that I enter in here, the StickerWiz GPT is going to be the GPT system that is helping me out. So you can see here that the Explore GPTs feature is very easy to use. You head over there to the main page, you pick the GPTs you wanna interact with, and especially if there's a few that you think you'll interact with on a regular basis, you just initialize them, and then anytime you hop onto ChatGPT+, you can easily initiate a conversation with any of those frequently used GPTs. And so the last highlight we have to touch on is customization. So if I head up here to the upper right-hand corner of the screen, I have two options, My GPTs and Create. So I'll click on this first. And if there were any GPTs that I'd customized or created from scratch, this is where they would show up. And from this screen or the previous one, I can click on Create a GPT. And from this page, I can begin to create and develop a GPT that fits my specific needs. And that process begins by interacting with ChatGPT here to begin the development process. And then up here, I can go to configure and continue the creation journey this way. So if you love the GPTs feature, but you just can't find that one GPT that meets your needs, you can come here and develop your own GPT from scratch and build it out with all the features that you want it to have. So I've mentioned this before, we're in the beginning stages of all this AI technology and how it's changing our day-to-day -day lives. Not too long ago, plugins were a main feature of ChatGPT+, but now that has been fully replaced by GPTs. So if you have a ChatGPT+, account already, or you're just beginning to interact with AI, I'd encourage you to check out the Explore GPT section of the platform. So whether you need help creating a more effective and efficient workout routine, brainstorming sticker ideas to promote your business, or just want to look around and have fun, the Explore GPT section of ChatGPT Plus is well worth your time. And in general, a ChatGPT Plus account is well worth the money if you want to integrate these features into your work and personal life. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at Gemini and Copilot.